All right. Uh, welcome to the March season of Adventures of the Star Keepers. Um, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Transition to the Shadow Squad ship flying through space. Hollywood snores loudly as Tutu stomps into the room. Stand back, dude. I got it. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> Hollywood! <laughs> dude, why are you always waking me up? Because you're always sleeping. And because we're supposed to be playing Sparkly Unicorn Makeover, and it's your turn to be the unicorn! No, uh no way! Last time it took forever to get all the glitter out of my hair. I don't care! Now put on the horn and the rainbow tail! Ah, oh, man! It would. Totu, report to the control room now. Oh, nice going, Hollywood. Me? But I didn't... No. Uh, 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 yes, Nebuloster. <laughs> Can we do a one, two, three? Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Yes, yes Nebuloster. It appears the Star Keepers are still searching for more members, while you have been wasting time sleeping and throwing tantrums. Someone else has been working hard to come up with a plan. Isn't that right, Professor Ratiform? <laughs> yes, yes. Thanks to my enormous brain, I have discovered that not only are these troublesome Star Keepers outside their headquarters, but they have also split up. Excellent. Hollywood, Tutu, you will follow Professor Ratiform's orders. Go and get rid of the Star Keepers. They are the only thing standing between me and the heart of the universe. Ugh! Why do we have to follow her order? Why do we... Why do we have to follow her orders? I've been here longer, not to mention I'm prettier, sparklier, and more princessy. The and... only thing you are is more annoying. I'm not! Ah, uh, too! Not to mention you're not even a real princess! <gasps> hey, uh, that's not very nice! Oh? And what are you going to do about it, you metal buffoon? Uh, um, uh... Well, that's what I thought. Now, leave and await my orders. Oh, man, I'm not a buffoon. Is that anyway a monkey? Oh, man. Tutu and Hollywood walk out, the doors sliding open and shut behind them. Transition from the Shadow Squad ship, we hear muffled sniffling from Tutu. The doors slide open and Hollywood walks in. Hey, little dude. I mean, <clears throat> hey, little dude. I mean, Supreme Princess Tutu. You okay? I'm okay. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be okay? <laughs> oh, um, uh, <laughs> there, 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 there. Uh, so, uh, oh, Tutu gives a big sniff. Sorry. <laughs> you know I'm a princess, right, Hollywood? <laughs> uh, of course! Radiform didn't know what she was talking about. What do you think she and the boss have planned? Who cares? <laughs> you aren't even, like, a little worried about it? Like, what if Glacia was right and he did something scary? Glacia's not part of our team anymore, Hollywood. What she thinks doesn't matter. <sighs> now, come over here. Oh, now, come over here. It's still your turn to get a unicorn makeover. Oh, uh, <laughs> dude. Oh. Come on, you'll love it. Okay. <laughs> Makes you feel better. It does. <laughs> uh, 
transition to the Shadow Squad. What? How could you have lost them? We're in a floating city. It's not like they could have gone anywhere. Apologies, Professor Radiform. Must I do everything myself? Tutu, Hollywood, we need to get to blah, 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 blah. We need to get to the control room at the center of the city. One phase is complete. We'll be this much closer to controlling the heart of the universe. <laughs> Hollywood, uh, what are you doing on the ground? Uh, nothing. Uh, I um lost one of my contacts. <laughs> yeah, uh, trying to find it. <laughs> well, hurry it up. We don't have all day. Uh, Hollywood, you don't wear contacts. Uh, in fact, you've been acting super weird since we landed. Shaking, sweating, holding on to... Oh, shaking, sweating, holding on to the ship, crying for your mommy. It's almost like you're scared of heights. Uh, I'm not scared of heights. In no way, dude. I'm not scared of, uh, uh anything. Hmm. So you wouldn't mind if I walked over here to the edge then? <laughs> Stop it, Tutu! <laughs> Scared of heights! Scared of heights! I am not! <laughs> Will you two hurry it up? Transition to Radiform space in the center of the city. There are faint sounds of robots marching in the background, machines building things, computers beeping, and energy pulses. A faint warning alarm. Uh, is going off. <laughs> mommy, mommy. You can get off the ground already, Hollywood. We're inside. Uh, right. Um, <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> uh -huh. Stands up. Oh, uh, sorry, little dudes. Uh, my bad. Oh, apologies. Oh, great one. We did not see you. Attention, Robo Bats. We have found our new leader. Huh? Are you talking about Hollywood? You will lead us to victory with your metal muscles, oh great one. Uh, you know, my muscles are pretty great. <laughs> the only great thing about you is your fear of heights. Oh great scaredy pants. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> There you fools are, and I see you met my two, and I see you met my new aerial army. Those star keepers might have ruined my mosquito robots. I said that wrong. Those star keepers might have ruined my robot mosquitoes, but lucky for me, the bats of Nimbus are the perfect replacements. What's that beeping noise? <clears throat> Oh, that? Oh, it's been going on and off for several minutes. Probably something silly, nothing of importance. Now, where did I put those plans? Transition to control room slash Radiform's new lab. The background is a mix of computers beeping and energy pulses. We hear camera flashes and clicks. All the robots should sound the same. Over here, great one. Smile so I can take your picture. Strike a pose. We love you, oh great one. Oh, great one, may we get an autograph? Of course! Anything for the fans! <laughs> Can you believe this, Tutu? Ugh, quiet down, Hollywood! I'm trying to watch the magical unicorn princess of Fairyland! Your strawberry milkshake Ooh. with extra sprinkles, with cream and a cherry on top, Supreme Princess Tutu. Hey! Where's my twisty straw? Of course. Here you go. Ah, oh, thanks. Oh, oh, let me do that again. I get my very favorite milkshake whenever I want. I finally have every episode of the Magical Unicorn Princess of Fairyland with special features. And I'm finally being called by my full name. Having robot minions is the best. I'm gonna do that last thing. Having robot minions is the best. Uh, you only have robot minions because I shared them with you. What did you say? Uh, in, in, nothing. That's what I thought. <laughs> A group of robots approach. 
We are ready for your orders, Supreme Princess Tutu. Uh, uh, uh why are those Robobats wearing frilly pink ballet tutus? They're my backup dancers, duh! Ugh. It's one of my ultra special sparkly dance, just like, just like the magical unicorn princess. <sighs> Tutu clicks the on button and we hear some bubblegum pop sounding tune. All right, Bobo Bats. A five, a six, a five, six, seven, eight. Transition to outside <laughs> the control room. The only sounds are gusts of wind and the footsteps of the star keepers. Leo flips the latch and pushes the window open. Leo grunts as he crawls to the window. Glacier and Bubbles turn their anti-gravity boots off and Flash stops flapping, all three hitting the floor with a soft thud. The window is closed. Gust of wind are replaced with the faint tunes of Tutu's theme song. We hear Tutu's lines from afar. A five, six, seven, eight, oh, all right. And jazz hands and twirl. I said twirl. Yes, Supreme Princess Tutu. <laughs> At least we know where all the robots went. Looks like Tutu recruited them as backup dancers. Yeah, and the other half are Hollywood's personal fan club. <laughs> Shh! Someone's coming! Loud footsteps and Tutu's music scratches off. <gasps> hey! My dance number! Velvo Bats! I order you to get back to your stations! Yes, Radicon. <laughs> oh, but dude! I was getting really good at signing autographs! Tutu! Hollywood! If the Robobats are here dancing and taking pictures, who do you think is guarding the control room? Um, um, uh, no, well, um, no one! That's who! I might as well have let the Star Keepers just walk through the front door, take the conversion device, and... Is that a strawberry milkshake? Radiform crosses the room and grabs something. She slurps the milkshake and burps. I can't burp on cue. <laughs> oh, here. It's um, like, wait. Ooh. Uh, wait. Oh. Uh, 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 Is that ooh. good? That was good. Or do you want a bigger one? I think I can do a longer one. Uh, yes. Uh, All right. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> that was awesome. Crystal, uh, you're amazing. <laughs> You can, take my, you can take my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Burping contest. <clears throat> but that's mine! <laughs> well, I'm your leader, so whatever's yours is mine, like this milkshake. <sighs> I want my milkshake! <laughs> And I want you two to go outside and keep a lookout. Now go! Uh, uh, yes! Red form. Yes, red form. Crazy. Tutu and Hollywood walk away, slamming the door behind them. Radiform rummages through the things Hollywood and Tutu left behind as she talks. Those fools using my robobats for dance numbers and autographs and... Wait, what is this? Oh, the magical unicorn princess of Fairyland. Hmm, I did miss episode 782. Maybe I'll just uh, watch it here while I have the room to myself. <laughs> it crashes to the ground and uh, into Tutu's radio. Tutu's theme song scratches back on and starts playing. The robots stop marching and flying. We once again hear the robotic jerks and spinning as they say. Oh, and oh. left and right and jazz hands and twirl. Sorry, I... What's going on? Robobats, what are you doing? Stop dancing! Stop it! There's the one that turned us into robots! Surround her! Don't let her get away! <laughs> Listen, I only did it for your own good. I mean, weren't you happier being my mindless robot servants? Well, door squeaks open and Hollywood and Tutu run in. <laughs> hey, uh... <laughs> I think the robots all turn back into bats. Uh, either that or, uh, like, my vision circuits are malfunctioning. Uh, I think she knows, Hollywood. Don't move, Metal Man. You two are coming with us. Huh? W w what happened to calling me Gray One and, and asking for my autograph? <laughs> you... What about my backup dancers? Hey, 
where'd she go? <laughs> Over here! While you were distracted by those sirens, I thought I'd slip by. You didn't think I'd leave without my precious conversion device, did you? I'll be using it on the heart of the universe to turn all of you and everyone else into robots. Oh, and by the way, you should probably check next time to see if a person you want to capture is wearing a teleport bracelet. Uh, what about us? We don't have teleport bracelets. Oh, so sad. Don't care. So long, star keepers. Mm -hmm. Try not to make a big hole when you hit the ground. Rataform <laughs> 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 uh, left us. G can, can she do that? Transition to Tutu in Hollywood. Tutu digs through a pile of metal junk and knickknacks. <laughs> Love my <Mikey. laughs> <laughs> Nope, not this one. Nope. Uh, Hollywood! <laughs> corner and help me find something to get me. Oh, wait. Uh, pick up. <laughs> Hollywood! Stop crying in the corner and help me find something to get me. Uh, I mean, us out of here. <laughs> I don't want to fall out of the sky. I'll just be a, a big metal pancake on the ground. I mean, you're like a, a handsome pancake, but still. Uh, Hollywood. Glacier? Huh? Listen, I know we're not on the same team anymore, but we could really use your help. What makes you think we'd ever help you, traitor? Well, Radiform did leave you guys in a city about to crash. So you can either help us save... So you can either help us save the city, or we'll all go down together. Uh, uh, fine. Come on, Hollywood. What? No way, dude. I am not going out there. <laughs> well, I'm getting out of here. Even if it means helping those dumb star keepers. You can stay here for all I care. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Sorry, can I do that one more time for the last line? It's a bummer, dude. <laughs> you can stay here for all I care. <laughs> oh, gnarly bummer. <laughs> Stop crying. You crying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Guys, I brought some help. What? What's she doing here? Listen, cowboy. I don't want to help you guys, but I also don't want to fall out of the sky. Tutu can help us, Leo. Her tears can eat through metal. Believe me, she almost melted through my ship more than once. She can help us free up the melted gear so the hover beam starts working again. Fine, but only because we're going to crash if we don't. Go on, Tutu. Cry. <gasps> I'm a sweet little bundle of joy and happiness. I can't just cry on command. Well, think of something sad then, like, uh, what if you spilled a bunch of ice cream or, or, or lost your favorite toy? Or what if your favorite TV show got canceled forever? <gasps> Not Adventures in Cotton Candy Land! <laughs> Oh, Tutu! <laughs> they can't cancel Avengers and God Candy Land! What monster would do such a thing? <laughs> the sound of metal gears break apart. They were as they resume operation. The gears are free! Hey, you're that metal man. Uh, I mean, what's your name? <laughs> oh, are you okay? We could use your help. <laughs> it's it's Hollywood. <laughs> Leave me alone, man. I can't help. Everyone's right. I'm just a big scaredy cat. <laughs> Whoa, that's really uh nice. Yeah, maybe I should try thinking peaceful thoughts, like like you said. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, uh signing autographs, <laughs> napping, um, uh, not getting yelled at by Tutu. Um... Hey, bad kid! 
The other bats are leaving without you. I better go. My clan is flying underneath Nimbus to try and slow it down. Come give us a hand if you can, Holly dude. Oh, uh, hey, <laughs> maybe I can help with that. Giant rockets come out of Hollywood's back, something like uh, the robot guy from One Punch Man, if anyone's ever seen that before. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my man. <laughs> they ignite and hold steady. Hollywood, you had rockets this entire time? Uh, yeah, I g guess I forgot about them. <laughs> yeah, my memory's not so good when I'm scared, okay? Mm. The hover beam needs energy. Uh, hello, that's why it's charging right now. Exactly, but Flash's lightning can make more energy. Maybe he can make it charge faster so we don't crash. Uh. We need to get down to where Tank is. We can't use the anti-gravity boots because, well, they only go up, not down. Well, how exactly are we supposed to get down there? And why are we so close to the edge? Why are you all looking at me like that? Glacia, why are you walking towards me? Sorry about this, Tutu, but you'll be fine. Sorry about what? Thinks she'll, for thinks she'll forgive you for throwing her off Nimbus? Nope. Are Thanks, Tank. See, Tutu? You're okay. Uh, I lost my voice screaming on the way down. But when I get it back, I will have a lot of things to say to you. I said I was sorry. All right, everyone. Let's give this mountain everything we've got. Oh. On it! On it! Ugh. This better work. I think I only have one more screen left in me. Now, Glacier, you first. Good, it's freezing. Choo Choo, go. Ah! Great, we're doing it. We'll be able to fix the hover beam now and get Nimbus back up in the air in no time. And thank you too, Hollywood and Choo Choo. I guess we should probably thank you guys, too. Ugh, whatever, star losers. Just don't expect us to help you in the future. I mean, you threw me off the edge of the city even though it was... I mean, you... I mean, you threw me off the edge of the city even though it was gonna... Okay, sorry, this is last one. <laughs> I mean... You threw me off the edge of the city, even though it was gonna land safely anyways. Come on, Hollywood. I need to get back to Ne- We need to get back to Nebulous. Um, yeah. Um, what she said. Uh, I guess. Oh. Come on. Oh, you sure? It was yeah. bad. Oh, no, that? come on. Two, two. I want my milkshake. Oh. I was really hoping they'd join us. They did help us save Nimbus, so uh, anything's possible. Oh, I guess uh, stretching would be a good idea. <laughs> Anybody want a belly dance? <laughs> Woo! Get it. Get it. Tea. I'm oh. glad you did, Crystal. I'm glad you did that, so I didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> that was gonna be one belly dance. <laughs> Better quota for the day, folks. One per episode. It's all you get. <laughs> that dungeon master, Steve, don't slack off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dungeon master. Come on. <laughs> it's it's really all about immersion for me, you know. Oh, <laughs> really got it. My, I really want to take my actors there, so. <laughs> It's my favorite name for uh for mixing with like old timey like uh uh, uh titles like Grandmaster King Steve. <laughs> that sounds like a DJ name. <laughs> Grandmaster King Steve. A really yes. bad DJ. <laughs> That's right. We can we can <laughs> two turntables and a microphone. <laughs> 
he's the type of uh, DJ who's like the daytime DJ in Ibiza. Yes. <laughs> he's got like the 12 to 3 shift. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or the DJ in Love Actually, who's like, it's a part of the movie of them being like, so what do you say? Worst DJ ever? And they're like, oh, it hinges on the next song. And he plays the next song. And they're like, yes, he's the worst DJ ever. <laughs> 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 it's like a DJ that would uh, be outside of a Hollister doing like. <laughs> <laughs> Overly perfumed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this on Hollister. There was a DJ one time. I went to the Hollister and they had a DJ outside. I was like, that's a oh. marketing. <laughs> hmm. Let's bring that's the party in the store. Marketing. <laughs> weirdest place to find a dj there was one outside of trader <laughs> joe's the other day because they had the what? long line outside so they got a dj to just hang out <laughs> i would go to that trader joe's where was get that? it trader joe's it's in van nuys oh i'm gonna go to that one <laughs> it's at coachella <laughs> okay, when, I, when i come visit la all of you guys can you show me where that is <laughs> <laughs> i mean party at trader joe's they should hey, DJs the... are out of work just like everybody else. Yeah, so. fair enough. <laughs> they should Very put true. the DJ at the Sherman Oaks one. That one always has a line. <laughs> I need to come to LA. I've never, I, the only, the furthest west I've been is Vegas. I've never you been gotta to gotta come. LA. I mean, you know, not right now. But... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is kind of warm though. So there's that. Never <laughs> seen the Pacific Ocean. Oof. It's pretty amazing. So never many seen. whales. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the whales stay. So I speak well. <laughs> 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 Does anyone else think that the robots sound like the aliens from Galaxy Quest, or is it just me? Oh, <laughs> yeah. yes. I never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Greg Falcon. Hey. 